Hey y'all, so today is a very fall feeling day and I have my fall sweater on, I'm feeling good and I thought that I would do a little bit of DIYing today. I wanna to start decorating for fall. It's like uh, the 10th of October, it's like the second week of October or something. So I feel like I'm a little bit late but better late than never and we'll still have it all November. So anyway, we're gonna be doing some DIYs. I have been on Pinterest looking at all the beautiful fall decor and when I've found links to things like fabric pumpkins, they are so expensive. And I think that they are really beautifully made and probably would last a really long time. But I thought for this season and like what my decor style is right now, cause you know, style is ever changing sometimes. Um, I thought that making some would be a better option and then I can always recreate them the next years with different fabrics and different things. So, um, anyway, that pretty much inspired me to do some DIYs. I did some things last year, some of these things, and I never recorded or shared. So today I'm going to be sharing my DIYs for fall. I'm also going to do like a decorate with me probably tomorrow or something. I'll probably film that because I'm going to start decorating for fall. I'm so excited. We already got pumpkins and after that I'm like, okay, we need to do the inside. And yeah, so let's get into the fall crafts. So for our first DIY is going to be a pumpkin DIY and these are all the things you're going to need. So we're just going to use some fabrics. I have a few different kinds that are just spares. Literally anything that works with your style will be perfect. I'm not into oranges and too much. So this kind of is the extent of my fall colors. And then this looks funny, but a pillow. You can find this at Goodwill. This is what I mean. You can thrift some fabric and then take the stuffing out of a pillow. Make sure it's not a down comforter with feathers or a down pillow. It just needs to be the plain old fuzzy stuff. So the first step is finding a square piece of fabric. I'm using this really cute gingham one. And then I'm going to take my stuffing and put it in the middle. You're going to take the opposite corners and bring them together and double tie them. It will kind of be trial and error to figure out how much stuffing you need for the size of square yours is. And then I'm going to double knot it so it stays in place. And then the next step is taking the other sides and you're going to kind of fold the fabric under and so it kind of hides the stuffing. And then you're just going to tie this one time the sides in and um, kind of get it the right shape. Then you're gonna take your stick and stick it into a hole that you can find um, into the stuffing. And then you're gonna take those two ends and wrap it around and tie it around your stick to help it stay. Now, obviously this isn't the most perfect and um, you know, not going to last maybe the longest time, but it definitely will work for the season. And you're going to tuck the little ends in and kind of just fluff the fabric and make it the right shape for you. I really love how this turned out and you can make a bunch of different sizes. I used a bunch of different fabrics and sizes and made a few different pumpkins and I think they turned out so cute. So for this DIY, all you're going to need is some dried florals. You can use anything. I got these at a local florist shop and you can really find anything outside or you can use real flowers or fake ones from michael's or any craft store and then you're just going to need a hoop i'm using an embroidery hoop but you can get like one of the metal ones also at craft stores and then i'm just using twine also you can use wire or floral tape anything like that but this is all you need for this wreath so the first thing i did is i just started placing the grass and figuring out exactly what I wanted. I decided instead of doing the accent pieces throughout, I just was gonna start with a solid base of this more weedy grass. This is all left over from my wedding, which is really nice, but you definitely can go outside and find things that would work perfect for a fall wreath. So once I kind of got everything placed, I started to add my accents in, and I just decided to do like one little edge corner instead of adding the accents throughout the entire wreath. And I used these little bunny ears and then this very small pumpus grass. And then I started to take my twine and I just cut small size strings enough to do a double knot and started tying off everything. This worked really great for this like more wheat uh, brown color wreath because it blended in really well. And so then I just did piece by piece tying it with the twine and also just started adding the grass through the twine that I'd already tied just to add more um, oomph to it and make it a little bit thicker. 
And yeah, so this took a little bit of time kind of messing around with it and adding things in. I think the end result isn't even what you see exactly right here because I kept messing with it. But I really, really love how this turned out. Um, I set it on my shelf and I just think it makes it look really, really sweet. You also definitely can hang it up. I'm maybe going to hang it up on my front door or I'll make another one. But I think this turned out so great and I want to make a bigger one. All you're gonna need for this super easy DIY is some fall leaves that I collected outside and then some fabric thread and a little needle. And the first thing I did is I just laid out all the leaves and kind of evenly dispersed the yellows and the reds. And um, if I thought they were too bright, I flipped them over and they were more of a brown color and more muted. Then the next thing I did is I just string them through and I use this skinny string just to make it easier, but you definitely can use twine or any other type of string. And also I had another idea of spray painting these leaves if I thought that they were gonna be too bright. I have white or gold spray paint, but I just decided to keep them plain. And then I evenly dispersed them through the string and then to end the string, I just cut it and then I put a little loop in it. I just tied a basic little loop. This is how it turned out and I went ahead and I just hung it on my staircase and I think it looks really sweet and I'm excited to do this every year collecting leaves with my little baby boy. It is a few days later and I realized I didn't end this video. I always do that with my videos and I always end up just saying thanks for watching on like a little slide. But I wanted to say if you make any of these, please tag me on Instagram. It's just Greer Brewer. And I would love to see if you make any of these. I think that they are so easy and really fun and definitely things that I'm probably going to do every year. I really like having those types of little traditions and I'm so excited. I went on a walk with Wilson to collect that last DIY you saw with the leaves and he is literally six weeks old so he has no idea what we're doing. He was sleeping but I just think it's going to be a really sweet um, thing to do because little kids love to collect leaves I think. I don't know. I always did. And so little things like that I think are just so fun. So anyway, if you make any of these, please tag me. I would love to see them. And thank y'all so much for watching. And I'm going to have a like full decorate with me um, for fall. Obviously from these like crafts, you could probably tell my fall decor is like pretty muted. Um, well, I had the fall leaves, but it's very natural. And yeah. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed watching and I will have a decorate with me video out soon and happy fall and stay cozy because it's freezing. I'll see y'all in my next video.